no conflict, no story. Think about all the great stories. You're writing your own story. All of you have a different story. The conflict has made you. Not the easy things, the conflict. It makes you, it can make you or break you. If you keep stepping into it, it'll make you something great and you'll succeed. This season is gonna be special and y'all can already taste it. We're in this together, all of us are in this together. Once that be clear, play the next play. I got your back, you got mine. Especially the guys that have been here. Welcome to the fight! The only way we're gonna do it is staying locked arms and going one game at a time and keep improving. You will never have arrived. You know, we, we've talked all year about the rise and what a, what a wonderful story it's been. But if you go back and, and put this into perspective, this was a team that had won two Pac-12 games in the last three years. They were 2-25 and 25 in the Pac-12. They were picked once again to finish last in the Pac-12 South. Nobody thought that they were going to win more than a handful of games all season long. And, and, and this was a team that uh, uh, people just didn't give a lot of credit to. For them to make this jump, to go from worst to first in the Pac-12 South, to go from one and eight to eight and one is truly an incredible story. And it, it, it's a national story. And, and again, this is why Colorado has burst back onto the scene of relevance. It is a national story and a program that uh, these kids made this happen. These, this coaching staff, and, and I've talked about the players, but this coaching staff never gave up never looked you know never looked down never looked away always kept focused on the job at hand and for them to come back and do that that's why you know we talked about the rise but the rise is now a real thing uh, this is something that is now it has happened we, we we followed it we watched it we thought maybe it's going to happen and they kept winning games and that the story kept getting bigger every week the stage kept getting bigger every week the stakes kept getting bigger every week and they responded every week and that's why this story is just so such an incredible story. It's been a, a, a wonderful rise for the entire team and the entire coaching staff and the athletic department. It has brought Colorado back into the national picture in a lot of ways. It's 
intercepted. It'll be a pick six for Colorado. Rick Gambaua. And Davis lost the football. Colorado has it. Laguna is for the end zone. Touchdown. Bryce Bobo. Dropped. Jimmy Gilbert, his second sack tonight. Philip Lindsay on first down. Big hole. down it is Jordan Carroll on the stop left side and that is picked off it is Isaiah Oliver Oliver takes it as a big one already he's got room here Isaiah Oliver cuts it back punter to beat he does he'll take it touchdown Smelling the end zone touchdown. Buffalo running. Leans forward. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Colorado. Falk. Looks stripped. Loose. Lindsay. 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 Touchdown, Colorado. In his way after a short game. Go back and you listen to that very first team meeting. Coach Max said, welcome to the fight. And he shows that board of every step of their fight. And one of the final steps is, is right here in Levi Stadium. And you can't help but wonder when you watch, you know, well, what does Sefo Lufau think right now? A guy who shouldn't even be playing potentially due to an injury. What does Chidibe Awuzie think right now? What does true freshman who's only going to play on special teams think right now? What is the belief? Is it hoping we're going to do well, hoping we'll show up in this stadium, hoping we'll be here on a Friday night, it's the only game that matters in the country, or knowing that we're going to be here, knowing that the rise is real and that Buffs fans are going to show up in droves in Levi Stadium? When you go back and watch it now, you can't help but look at the glimmer in those players' eyes and say, you know what? They made the transition that's the most critical one which is going from hoping we do well to knowing we'll do well. And that is where the true substance of this CU program resides. Fields, a speedster, coming in motion. Lufau runs for a first down and more. Sefa Lufau down at the 40. Tim Lennon Jr., right guard, pulling around the edge, paving the way for 26. First down and 10, a deep drop, under pressure, and sacked by Kenneth Olomone. The team captain, the local product, LaVon Coleman, hit by a blitzing Ryan Mulder. And Colorado's defense getting it going, third long. Browning under pressure and sacked at the 45-yard line by the only first-teamer on this defense. It's Jimmy Gilbert on second and goal. It's Lindsey again. He's in. Touchdown, Colorado. What a response from the Buffs. coaching staff talked about it. They said, we're going to do what we do. So Washington with a 14-7 lead, looking for its first conference title since 2000. Colorado trying to win its first conference title since 2001, when it was in the Big 12. Make the play. Oh, I told you in August. We'll be playing here. And it's 14-7 to halftime. And we didn't play real good in the first half. 
What would y'all be thinking? Colorado and Washington, the fourth ring Huskies with a 14-7 lead as we get ready to start half number two. Like we think, thought with the top two defenses in the conference, kind of a defensive battle through 30. Yeah. All right, so Lufau is in there to begin the second half of Colorado. Washington. And for Colorado, they've set the ball. They now know what they're capable of. Only seven teams in the history of Colorado have done what you've done. Seven. There's been 140 of them. Seven. <coughs> Nobody's done, you heard it, ever what you've done. Ever. <coughs> Pac-10 or Pac-12 history in 101 years. I can't tell you how proud of everybody in here. I mean, from the bottom of my heart. It's amazing what you've done. This is a tough man's game. We got some tough suckers in here. Okay? You may see you great again. You did. You did. You made CU great again. Wow, man. What a year. What a year. Think about all the magical moments. You packed Folsom again. You you brought the pride back to Colorado. There's more students enrolling now than they ever have. Don't forget where you come from how far you came, because you did it. Just for you young guys, don't throw it all away. Okay, I forget who said it, but you guys came in at a, a pretty luxurious time. You know, we're over here at the Alamo Bowl, we're getting gifts. Uh, my freshman year, we had to get, uh, we had to mature pretty quickly as a group, and we had to learn, because uh, a lot of us got thrown in the fire, and we took beatings really bad beatings and we weren't used to it and we were a lot smaller, a lot younger and once this game ends, whether we win or we lose, obviously we want to win, but once this game ends, it's time to, to restack and get going again because no one cares what you did last season and your record does not carry over and so I just don't want you guys to throw it all away. You know, go out there and make a legacy for yourselves. You know, we like to believe as a senior class and everyone else that's been here that we set a foundation, but it's, it's time for you guys to go make a legacy um, and a name for yourselves. Oh, uh, Alamo was great. We're so happy to be here, coming back since 2002. It's a, a great scene. I was told we have 4,000 people here, and Oklahoma State has like 200 in uh, Papano, somewhere across the street. So we're, we're happy, man. We're all here in force. What a matchup we have, a top 15 contest between two old Big 8 and Big 12 rivals, number 12 Oklahoma State and number 10 Colorado. I said it earlier today. You made the dream season of 2016 a reality. You did it. You made the impossible the possible. You proved people wrong prove yourselves wrong and a lot of your doubts that you overcame your fears you made my dreams come true so proud to see what you've done physical, physical football. you ready sir okay players make plays have not shut it down, they have not quit. They're still competing till the end of this ballgame. We were fortunate enough to start with this bunch, worst to first. 
They're supposed to be worst in their division. They end up first in their division. But we had Colorado against Colorado State early first ball game, and they were so impressive. It's been a tremendous year for them. But Colorado's back. But they're back as a program, and the fans should be so pumped. Like we wanted it to. It happens in life. It's a tough man's game. And it develops tough, uncommon men. I am so proud and honored to coach you guys. I'll push you, I'll love you, I'll be there for you. Seniors, you know you can call me anytime. Any place, I'll come. This group of men in this room, best turnaround in Pac-12 history. It's been a long time for anybody does that. Ten wins, double digits is awesome. Only eight teams have ever done it in the history of the school. You make people believe again, not just in Colorado football, but hear me out. You make people believe in themselves. You inspired people. I'm telling you, you know, I woke up every day excited about life again because y'all were doing good. Three or four, four people told me that were battling cancer, that you motivated them every day. They said, if y'all can do what you did, they think you did the impossible. showed them something special. Seniors, you brought us this far. Guys here, listen to me. You can't let them down. You literally rose us from the ashes. You know, I said, what is that? I'll explain it to you again. You ever seen a house burnt down? And they build a new one in place of it? You know what it rises there? These guys right here, roses from the ashes. Look at me, man. We'll be back here again, and we'll triumph next time. And it's because of these guys setting that foundation. And y'all keep it going. Don't one second hang your head. You can be pissed at the way you played, okay? Like I'm pissed at myself for not preparing you well enough. But don't you hang your head for one second. Give these seniors one last walk through here. Tell them you love them. Tell them thank you. You tell them. We won't forget it. We won't let you down. They brought it back, along with you guys, but they brought it back. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Seth Bowe.
The Rise is the story of a group of young men that came to Colorado when the program had hit bottom. They came here with no other promise than the opportunity to build something special from the ground up. When people look back, they're going to remember this group of seniors as a bunch that carved out a very special place in CU history. They never won a conference title, and they never won a bowl game, but the legacy they left is a chapter in CU history that will be remembered forever. This is a group that turned the program around, that brought Colorado football back from the ashes. Third down and seven. Blitz coming. Oh. Speed and trouble. The ball's loose. Scooped up by Colorado. It's a big man's juggle and brought in. We'll go for a pick. And win. Spinning his way after a short game. And a Collapsing and the sack. That's Jordan Carroll on his senior night.